Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome new subscribers. I'm glad you're here and thank you so much to my regular subscribers that has been with me from the start and somewhere along the start. Thank you so much. Thank you for your wonderful comments. You guys are just amazing and a blessing. Thank you. It's, you know, what keeps me going is hearing the good blessings from you guys because it is blessings and I can't thank you enough. Thank you also for the donations for the women in, um, in need of thread. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you also for tipping me. Um, some of you have tipped me and as you know, um, most of the time, if somebody tips me, I throw that towards a uh, thread also for the women in need. But eventually I'm going to have to keep some for myself because I'm trying to upgrade my videos, my lightings, my cameras. And of course that takes money and it's something I cannot afford. As you all know, I use my mobile. I don't have a computer. But at least, uh, you know, I can record now uh, in full screen. It took me about three years to get it. But anyway, um, I do have a crochet private group. You're more than welcome to join the family as long as you have a profile picture. I also have a crochet page you can follow, TikTok and Instagram. Everything will be listed below in the description box. If the video is too fast for you, in the description box there's a link, two minute link that I explain how to slow down the video. Turn your CC for closed caption on. Everything I will be saying will be written in the bottom here somewhere. I don't write patterns and I think some people get confused when I say it will show up on screen the stitch that I'm calling out. I think people think that I am just going to write it and put, you know, the codes of stitch. I'm just learning these codes of stitch. Uh, when I first opened the channel, I had no clue how to translate it because it has a different meaning. I'm in Europe. I'm in Portugal. Portuguese does not have the same translation uh, translation for the English. I'll give you an example, double crochet. We call it long crochet if I translate that. So you would know what I was would be saying. So I tried to explain as much as I possibly could in my own little way. When I look back, I actually laugh about it, but some people still get very upset because I'm not calling the stitch properly. I don't blame you in a way and another way. Please give me a break. I just learning these codes. Uh, I wasn't born uh, knowing everything like yourselves. So the important thing is that if you can see the stitch clearly, and I know I have to slow down with crocheting, I think I've been doing pretty good lately. Mm because I'm a fast crocheter. So I apologize for that. And I'm trying to go back into the beginning of my videos and recreating some of those most known creation pieces that you guys comment a lot still until today. And so I'm trying to recreate those patterns again and link them to those old videos so you guys can have more clarity and understanding of the stitches that I'm doing. Okay, so I use most of the time 2.75 hook or a 3, 3.5. I use a 4-ply 100% cotton thread, similar to Aunt Liddy. Mine's a little bit thinner. And a lot of people sometimes they ask me, uh, you know, for these threads. I do ship out if you're interested because it's been such a high demand. These go by number. They don't go by name of collars. Example, this is a 4-ply color 30 okay it's a multicolor there's like terracotta aqua purple lavender uh, fuchsia so you know they have millions of not millions but you know a couple of hundreds of different mixtures okay so eventually i will be taking pictures and showing some of these um of the colors okay uh, white is a normal white and off white is a normal off white and and beige is a normal beige except for the other the other stuff like multicolors, these are these ones like this. They all come like this, but sometimes I have a lot of leftover, so I add them up into a big ball. Okay, and uh, so I want to thank every single one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps the channel. Also, sharing is caring. Please share with your families and friends, and please do give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. If possibly, watch the commercial. If it's those two second, three minute or two minute commercial, I could understand. If it's a 15 minute commercial, forget it. Watch a bit and then skip it because it's very annoying. I know that for a fact. 
Okay, so we're going to get started. Of course, I use a small one to tuck in loose ends, a small hook, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started, everyone. Thank you. And before I forget, so I was trying to explain. These are $12. They're 100 gram. Uh, it's about 300, 325 yards of thread, 100% cotton thread, okay? Top of the line. So, okay. And you must order at least six uh, for me to make it to the post office and send it out to you, ship it out to you, because shipping is the, the most ridiculous thing I ever saw in my life in this country, okay? Okay, so today I'm going to recreate one of my patterns that I had started right from the beginning when I started the channel. And it's a very, very um, popular one that a lot of people at least trying to create it. And I could understand that it is quite difficult to understand at first because the video is dark and it's got two shades of video. The app that I used was horrible. I had no experience with recording or apps. Now I'm a little bit getting there, right? I'm still not experienced, but I'm getting there. And I had no clue on the codes of, of the uh, name stitch, okay? So example, I would say now we're going to put 12 chain stitch into this little hole. I wanted to say 12 double crochets, but I had no clue how to translate it. So I'm going to recreate because a lot of people are still creating that and they're still commenting if there's another video or if there's a written pattern. I don't write patterns. And so I'm going to recreate that to help these people that are still creating or going to create that uh, it's a braided right from the beginning when I started. It's a braided table runner and it's got mega, mega flower, which is with lavender, purple. So I'm going to use these colors in white, uh, exactly more or less the same colors as I did for that mega flower. So people don't get confused about it. Okay, so we're going to get started. These are all four ply, 100% cotton thread. Let's get started, everyone. So I'm just coming in with the green, just like that. You can use purple, you can use white, you can use lavender, whatever color you want. I'm just going to use this for my foundation to create my paddles, okay? So I'm going to do the magic circle, or you can do a four to five chain, depending up on your tension. We don't want the hole to be too big, okay? But you have to have enough room to fit 12 double crochets in there. So I've done one chain to secure my first double crochet. That means I came back in with a single and chain two. I'm going to create 11 more. With the single and chain two is a total of my 12 double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. This is the first row. So I've done my 12 double crochets, I'm going to pull into my magic circle and close that in. I'm going to come in my second chain. Remember that I went up a single and chain two to create my first double crochet. So I've came in with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in the same space and I'm going to create my first double crochet with a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. On almost in every row, this is how I start my first double crochet. In the same stitch, I'm creating another double crochet. Oops. Uh, must remind you, we have to use back loops. I was forgetting that part. So I'm going to take this single down because I need to use back loops. Okay, so I did my slip stitch. I'm going to come in the back loop of the same stitch and create a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm coming in again, back loops only. We need these front loops for the paddles. Into the next double crochet, using back loops only, I'm creating two double crochet in the same stitch. We'll have a total of 24 double crochets all together. So two double crochet per space using back loops only, this loop back here. We need these front ones to create our paddles, okay? This is row two. I've done my 24 double crochets, two per space, and I'm coming in my second chain here and closing it with a slip stitch. 
Again, we are going to repeat the same thing. So I'm coming in the first one, doing a single and two chain. Coming back in the same one and creating another double crochet. So I'll have two together in the same space. Coming in the next one, back loops only and creating one double crochet alone. Next space, two double crochet together using back loops only. For the next few rows, we'll be only back loops to uh, have our paddles created, okay? So next space, one double crochet alone, next space, two together in the same space. This is row three, okay? Two double crochets together in the same space. One double crochet alone using back loops only. Two together, one alone. Two together, one alone. We're going to repeat that all the way around and close in with a slip stitch. Okay, everyone, going into row four, it's going to be exactly the same thing. So I've closed with a slip stitch. I'm going to come back in the same one. I'm going to do a single two chain back into the same one again so i have two double crochets in the same stitch next space i'm going to do one alone double crochet alone so on the previous row we did two together one alone this row we're going to do two together and two alone so i've done one alone already next space another double crochet alone next space two together next space back loops only always working on back loops one double crochet alone next space another double crochet alone so two together one alone one alone two together one alone one alone two together and the next row will be two together and three alone. But I'll meet you on the next row. One, two, three, four. Row four, two together, two alone. Row five, two together, three double crochet alone. Okay. So I finished row four, two double crochets together and two double crochets alone, one per space. If it makes it easier on you uh, just going chain three, then you can do that too, because this is the base. The leaves are gonna be up top anyway, on top of them. I'm coming in the same one and doing another double crochet. Coming into the next space, next uh, stitch, and doing one double crochet alone next stitch so that's my second double crochet alone and my third double crochet alone on this fourth space i'm doing two together again next space one double crochet alone so we're going to have two together three alone so one two next space three alone and two double crochet together in the same space this is row five okay one two three four five i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i pretty much did my one two three four five two double crochets together one two three alone we're going to proceed this way until we do eight double crochets alone and two together. And I believe that's row 10. Eight double crochets, one per space alone and two double crochets in the same space together. I'm going to continue mine and then I'll come back to you at the end of my row that I have eight alone and two together. That's my last row for my foundation for the flowers. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of my row, my rows. Okay, everyone, so I did 10 rows. On my 10th row, I have eight double crochets alone, one per space, 
and two double crochets in the same space. So two together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight along, two together, all the way around the same way. And I've cut my thread, this is my base to create my paddles. Okay, so we're gonna do the center piece and we're going to start on these loops here, okay? On the first row where we have these loops, we're going to work on each one of them. So I'm coming in with my white just to get that little center piece of the flower going. I'm doing a slip stitch. And I'm coming in, I'm going to bend my pattern because it makes it easier to work, okay? I'm going to come in my first row on that front loop that we did not work and I'm going to do a single okay and I'm going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten chain on this row will always be a ten chain I'm coming back in the same where I've started my single and my chain with another single. So for each loop, we're always going to have two singles in there. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chains. We already have two singles in there. I'm going, coming into the next loop right beside it and doing a single okay and then again chain 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have only one single on that loop so we're closing this off with another single okay I'm gonna cut that little extra thread before it confuses me and you and, and everyone Again, 10 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 chain. Coming in, I'm going to keep turning my pattern because it makes it easier to turn and bend so you can see those loops. And I'm coming in the next loop, right? We already have two singles on there. Single. So we're going to continue to do this all the way in that same row. So we know there's only one single in here. We're going to do 10 chain, come back into the same space with a single. And then again, 10 chain and into the next loop. And we're going to work all these loops all the way to the end. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I've completed my first row of those 10 chain. I've closed in single. Now I'm going to come in that first chain we did to close in with a slip stitch on my first single, okay? We're going to do three rows of these. You want that mega flower to be as fluffy as possible and look so real. Okay, so slip stitch in that first single that we did. Now I'm going to do one, two, three chain. I'm going to come to the second row and the third row will be repeatedly the same way. So I'm just going to go directly in the loop on the second row and do my single and continue to do my 10 chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back in the same one. Remember, we have to have those two singles on the same space. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Into the next loop right beside it, right here, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chain. Come back in the same space, always closing in with two singles in the same space. And then chain 10 again, come into the next one. We're going to repeat this row and then do your chain 2 or 3, depending upon your tension. And repeat the same thing on row 3. Okay? I'll meet you at the end of row 3. You want to repeat exactly what we just did. Here I did 1, 2, 3 chain and went right to the loop behind it. Okay? So I'll meet you at the end of row 3. Okay, everyone, so we're going to start to create the paddles. I'm coming in with my lavender. And I'm going to do my slip stitch knot. And I'm coming in my fourth row. So it's really hidden behind all of these, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going into any loop. and doing a single. Try to push it to the front as much as I can so you guys can see. Try to hide my thread in between here. I'm going to do one, two chain. This equals my double crochet. And I'm going to do another one on the same space. So I need a total of eight. Two per, per space. Two per stitch. Try to hide this leftover thread here. So next stitch, two double crochet together. We need to use four loops to create eight double crochets. Next double crochet and double crochet again on the same space. So I have six already. I need one more. Next loop. We're using those loops. That's all we're going to work on. So now I have on my row four, two, four, six, eight double crochet. I'm going to go up one, two, chain three, turn around, come in the same stitch, and I'll have two double crochet together next space I'm doing one double crochet alone another one alone that's two three four five six Double crochets alone. I have two at the beginning, that's eight. And I'm going to do two on the last double crochet. So we'll have a total of 10 double crochets. I'm going to turn around. Now we're going to do three incomplete double crochet. So I'm going up chain three. In the same one I'm creating another double crochet and complete. Next space another double crochet and complete and I'll take a lot all out at the same time. We're going to do five double crochets one per space. Two, three, four, and five. The last three is going to be the incomplete again double crochet. So I have my second and my last double crochet. So now I have four on the hook and I take it out all together. So I have one, two, three, going to the fourth row, going up, chain three, turn around. I'm going to do the incomplete again. So I have this uh, one double crochet into the next, because this is part of the three that we closed in. 
and complete into the next one and complete and now close it all together next space one double crochet next space two double crochet and my third one I'm not closing I'm doing the incomplete again and I'll have four on the hook again to close okay so we've closed three incomplete two double crochet alone and the other three we close it in all together I'm going to go up to my last row two three chain turn around coming into the next chain I'm going to do incomplete so I have two three four and on my last one here five five incomplete double crochets I'm going to close it all together okay now on my other tutorial I had to cut the thread and do one by one I'm going to do a slip stitch I'm going to grab my smaller hook because I don't want to keep cutting and and keep taking it down. So I'm going to slip stitch my way. You can cut if you want and restart on the next loop next to this paddle. I'm not going to. I'm just going to slip stitch my way down going into these loops I think it makes it easier than cutting attaching tucking away loose ends when this is like just mixed in the middle of all of the other paddles but it's up to you if you want to cut it tuck in the loose ends and restart your paddle go ahead I'm slip stitching all the way down I keep pulling my threads because this hook is very very small all the way into that loop where I started it And I'm going to work again the same exact thing on the next loop to try to bend it so you guys can see it on the next loop right next to that paddle I'm going to do a single and two chain that's my first double crochet again we're going to use four loops two double crochet per space Per loop so I have two four two more on the next space so that's six we're gonna do those eight like we did the first paddle and two more on this last one okay so we have our second paddle started two four six eight chain three turn around double crochet in the same space and five double crochets alone one per space two three four One, two, three, four, five. Is it five? Let me just check here. I think it's six. I think I said it wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. Sorry. Six double crochets alone. So I have one, two, three, four, five six
So going to row three, one, two, and three, turn around, create in the next space, double crochet and complete into the next one incomplete so we have three incomplete close it all together next space double crochet alone next space double crochet alone and again double crochet alone and again double crochet alone so we have three incomplete and four double crochets alone in the next one we're doing incomplete double crochets again so we'll have four on our hook and close it together so we have one two three rows going into the last row we keep decreasing right one two three and four so again, on this last row, we're going to go one, two, three, next space, incomplete, and next space, incomplete, double crochet. So we have three incomplete, close it all together. We're going to have one, two, double crochet, and we're going to do incomplete so incomplete and my very last one here incomplete close it together my last row because it's only rows of five so one two three four and my last row is all incomplete chain three into the next space incomplete into the next one incomplete into the next one incomplete and into my last one here incomplete and close it all together so you have your second paddle done now like I said you can cut your thread here and tuck in and restart on the other one I'm just going to slip stitch my way down saves me the hassle of cutting and tucking but yes on the other video that's what I've done I've cut it and I did one one per per space you know and one petal per space and had to tie it each time and I should be using a bigger hook than this for this but I think I ever learned my lesson I should have a bigger hook somewhere here is this thinner yes this is thinner not a smart move. Let's try with this one. It's a little bit bigger. Well, it's bigger, but I seem to do better with my smaller one, don't I? Guess I'm just so used to. I don't want to use my regular one because it makes bigger holes, right? But and it's harder to get it in because my stitch is tight. Try that again. You have to be stubborn at it. This is optional, like I told you guys, you can cut it and uh, and restart your paddle. So anyway, this is how the paddles are created. So you have to work your way all the way around. And come in the same one with a slip stitch. And I'm going to do a single on the next one. And chain two to start my next paddle so I have to create two per space here per stitch so I have to have a total of eight using four loops I have four 
five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, again, one, two, and three. Turn around, same loop, another double crochet. Next space, one double crochet, two, three, four, five, and six. Your last one, two together. So you should have a total of ten double crochet. Okay, so we're going into row three. One, two, three, chain. We're going to decrease. So, incomplete, double crochet, close. One, two, three, four, five, not five, four, and then the other three is in complete double crochet. Okay. And I believe I had four on the hook. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think I only did three. One, two, three. Again, incomplete double crochet. This is one, two, three, four. We have one more row to go. There's only five rows with these paddles. So I've incompleted three. So I have one, two, three. I'm coming in, incomplete, and that's what I should have done in the row before. But anyway, you could always rewind and look at it. And then the last row, which is row five, is all incompletes. One, two, three. And you're supposed to have um, five incompletes. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, and five. And complete, and then close it all together. I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to come in and do my slip stitch all the way down. So this is how your paddles are starting to look. Okay, I'm going to complete mine and then come back to you once I am done. Okay everyone, so I pretty much give myself a head start and start at the second row. I have two paddles left to do, which will be um, exactly the same thing as the first one. The only difference is we're skipping one space, okay? So slip stitch knot. So I did it right on the next one. I'm going to skip one loop and come in my second loop. Do a single. Now, of course, it gets harder because there's so many paddles there already. Let's try that again. Try to hide my little string at the same time. So single, two chain. Okay, so don't forget, you have to skip that one loop there. And repeat the same thing. So two double crochet in the same stitch, same space. Next space, next stitch, two double crochet. So we're gonna use the four loops. It's always harder to get this first row going. The next one, at least we won't have puddles in our way. So two together. And 
and the next loop again, two together. So we're using four loops of two double crochet in the same space. One, two, three, four, two, four, six, eight. Chain three. This is already one double crochet going up in the same space. Again, double crochet. Next space, one alone. So that's one. So two double crochets in the same stitch. And now we're going to do five double crochets alone, one per space. I'm on my second. my third, my fourth, my fifth, and I will not five, six double crochets alone, and two in the end. So you'll have a total of ten double crochets. Two at the beginning, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn around, chain three. I'm coming into the next double crochet. We're going to start to do the incomplete, the three incomplete double crochets. Now I'm going to close it in. I'm going to do one per space, one double crochet per space. I have one, two, three, four, and I'm going to start to do the last three and complete. So we'll have four on the hook and take it all out. Turn around, one, two, three. We're coming in the same one here, and complete and another incomplete. Take it out. One per space. So one double crochet, two double crochet. Now we're going to do the three incomplete at the end. We'll have four loops on the hook and take it out. Going into the last row. One, two, three. I'm skipping that same one coming directly into the next stitch and do five incomplete double crochet. Take it all out, slip stitch. I'm just going to hook it on here because at the end of all of our paddles we're going to do singles all the way around. Okay. Now, if it happens that you're you're supposed to have twelve paddles, it's twelve paddles per uh, per row of paddles. Okay. If it happens that you probably made a mistake on the uh, base and you have extra loops, let's say you have two extra, just jump over. Don't worry about it. Okay. Let's say you have um, an extra, you have two extra ch uh, loops or three. Just jump or start on your third one or the second one, whatever you have extra, because that's common to happen, you know. Okay, so I have I have one more to do, which is this one here. I'm gonna skip a loop, and I'm gonna use four loops: one, two, three, and four. I'll have one loop left because there's one space between them. I'm going to complete mine and then we're going to start the last row. Okay everyone, so I pretty much finished doing all my 12 paddles. I'm doing my third row of paddles. Now we're going to skip one loop. That means I'm going to skip this row and I'm going to come into this one. We're going to use, uh, let me see, six loops here. So we want to start more or less on the center here. So I have three, four, five, six, two, four, six. Okay, so I'm going to start about here. Okay. This time, 
we're going to do, we're using six loops, so we're going, we need 10 double crochets. We're going to do two together on the first one, so single, two chain. Get my light on better because especially this is a darker purple. Another one on the same space. Next loop, two together, again, two double crochets. So we already have four. Next one, one double crochet alone. Next space, another double crochet alone. So we have two, four, five, six, two together, seven, eight, and the last loop, two together, nine, and 10. So two double crochets on the same loop, two double crochets on the same loop, one double crochet alone, one double crochet alone, two together, and two together, using six loops. Now, you're going to repeat the same thing as we did with the other ones. Chain three, coming back into the same loop, double crochet in the same space. One double crochet per space. The rest is the same thing as the other paddles. Nothing changes here. We only increased a little bit more on the uh, loops and the double crochets. So one per space. And on the last one, still have one more here. Two together. So you'll have two double crochets of the first one and then the rest here. So the increase, the beginning and the end. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve double crochets. Turn around, chain three. We're going to start the decrease of the three incomplete double crochet. Close it all together. Then one per space. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now three incomplete. So you'll have six double crochets alone. You'll have four on the hook, four loops on the hook to close it out. Turn around, one, two, three. In the same space here, incomplete. Next space, your three incomplete. And then we're going to do double crochets alone. One, two, three, four, and we're going to do the incomplete. So you'll have four double crochets incomplete, uh, not four double crochets, four double crochets alone. And then the three incomplete. You'll have three on your hook. One, two, three. I'm not coming in the next space. I'm coming in the next one. Two, three, four, five, and six and closing all together. I'm just going to hook it here on the side. It makes it easier to, to hide it once we do the singles all the way around. And you'll do the same thing to all other 11 uh, paddles, okay? So we'll repeat one more time.
we're not working on this next row, we're working on the one after. We're going to skip one loop coming into the next one with a single. And two chain coming into the same one another double crochet into the next loop with two more double crochets now we're going to do two double crochets one per loop one per stitch one per space so one two on the next loop two together on the next one two together so you should have a total of ten double crochets using six loops two four five six seven eight nine ten turn around one two three come back into the same loop increase in the same space another double crochet and then one per space and you'll have your increase at the end again two in the same stitch on the last one Sometimes it's tricky this last one it's hitting back here you got to make sure you get them all in you have to have your 12 double crochets or you're going to be in trouble okay so turn around and we're going to start to do the incomplete double crochet so I have chain three into the next one incomplete and into my third one incomplete close it all together and then one per space one two three four five and my sixth but I'm holding on the hook not holding on the hook we'll have four uh, loops on the hook to close out so I'm doing the incomplete on my last three sometimes it gets tricky because this is a harder uh, darker thread so it's harder to see and I've closed out one two three one two three I'm coming in the same stitch as I closed out incomplete double crochet and then complete and close it together now I'm going to do one per space one two three and four double crochet now I'm going to do the incomplete and grab my very last one here at the end four on the hook and take it out last row one two three I'm not working on the one we close I'm coming into the next one one two three four five and on my last one six and I'm closing it up slip stitch I'm going to cut my thread and just go here on the side of the double crochet and just put my thread through there because we are going to do singles around it okay so I have my second paddle 
done. So continue yours. Uh, when you get to the end, if you think that, you know, you have like uh, three loops left, don't stress over. Just jump one or two loops. It won't make any difference on the base. As long as you have your 12 paddles in. And uh, if you need to, uh, or let's say you made a mistake on the base and you have quite a few, like four or five um, stitch uh, loops on there, what you can do is by cheating, instead of putting two together, you want to use those loops as long as you have those 10, then you can do, let's say, two together and then instead of doing two together on the next one, do one, one. As long as you have those 10, it's just little tricks you can do with it, okay? I'm going to complete mine, and then I'll come back to you once I am done. Mm -hmm.